So let's talk about some transactions that we've had uh, this uh, week. Uh, the cut day was on Tuesday, but the Rams did make these moves on Monday, which was the 16th. The Rams waived defensive tackle George Silvanic, outside linebacker Max Roberts, tackle Ryan Pope, who was claimed off waivers on the 11th, so he only spent five days as a Ram, linebacker Derek Moncrief, and kicker Austin McGinnis. So those are your cuts. The Rams roster is now down to 85. We will need to go from 85 to 80 by uh, Tuesday next week. So uh, that is the 24th that the Rams will need to be down to 80. But, you know, with that that one coming through on the 16th, it's very possible that we could see those cuts come in on the 23rd. So some possible predictions here. This, these are my predictions, all right? And then we'll give you some other names that are also possibilities, and I think that we'll get cut whether it's this week or or the following, but we'll talk about that as well. Uh, going into the the Broncos game, we'll give a full cut prediction uh, and basically give our our nine or our fifty three man roster predictions at that point. Um, but I believe one of our long snappers will be cut, whether that's Stephen Wordle or Matthew Orzek. I I'm not really sure yet. I I do believe myself that Orzek will be the one sticking around. So I'm going to say that Stephen Wordle would be the one cut. I'm also going offensive lineman Max. Percher. I'm going tight end Kyle Markway, wide receiver Landon Akers, and cornerback Tyler Hall. Those are my cut predictions. Let me know what you guys uh, think below in the comment section, wherever you can hear me. Let me know uh, who you think gets cut this week, or if any, if or if I'm off on any of these. I also do think that these are some names that are that are real possibilities that we could see as cuts. Uh, not only this week could we see some of these names, but also the following week. I do believe we'll see at least a good portion of these names, unless we see some big things in these next two preseason matchups, I think that these are possible cuts. So cornerback Donovan Alumba, who the Rams did just recently bring in, uh, defensive back J.R. Reed, who did actually play pretty solid against the Chargers, but that's a pretty loaded position group. Defensive lineman uh, Eric Banks, and as well as uh, Marquise Copeland, and I have linebacker Christian Roseboom and running back Otis Anderson Jr., who I do want to see but did not get any carries or anything in this uh, first preseason game. So maybe maybe we'll get to see him against the Raiders and or Broncos. Uh, but also, guys, keep in mind, I've got Hodges and Perkins being cut after the Denver game. Uh, so uh, can, can Perkins clear waivers? That's going to be a big question here. Uh, Hodges, Duck Hodges, quack quack, did not necessarily look very good. Uh, he didn't really do anything that that told me that the Rams need to keep him around, even in a practice squad capacity. Of course, Bryce Perkins, though, I mean, he's a good player. And uh, it's it's almost unfortunate for him that he's sitting so low on the depth chart because I think that he would be a, a definitely a pretty strong backup or could develop into that. Of course, he's pretty experienced right now, but I think that he's got those skill sets to uh, to to improve upon. And all he, he's just going to get better with more experience, so... I think that if he does not clear waivers, I'm still kind of rooting for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of keep keep one eyeball on on his career and kind of see how how his uh, his path unfolds here. But those are really my my picks here. I I think that I think that uh, Wordle, Percher, Markway, Acres, and Hall. I think those are all very realistic cuts. I think that they're. I think that these are all guys that we'll see cut in some like wh whether it's this upcoming cut. Or whether that's we get when we get to the 53, I don't think that those any of those guys will be on the roster when we hit uh, week one against the Chicago Bears on Sunday Night Football. Rams fans, thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end of the clip. I do sincerely appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe. If you have done that, or even if you haven't, go ahead and watch the full episode if you liked this clip. I guarantee you guys are going to love it. Go Rams!